Math One Homework Solutions for Worksheet Applying the Exponent Rule for Negative Exponents. This is Mr. Chutna from Clovis High School and what we're going to do is we're just going to go through and solve each one of these problems. Actually we're going to simplify each one of these problems. We're going to be using the concept of negative exponents. Okay, so you should have already done this assignment. You should be checking your work as we go and making any adjustments, any corrections um, as I go through the assignment. Okay, so keep in mind that when we talk about negative exponents, there is a mathematical law, it's a rule, that you should never have an answer, a final solution, let's say, that involves a negative exponent. So you have to learn how to simplify it. Okay, so number one, just going through each one. In number one, we have eight to the negative first power. To simplify this, we are just going to simplify it as one over eight to the positive one power. All right, in this situation, having the positive one power right here, the exponent of one is unnecessary. So really, we would just say number one is one over eight. In number two, three to the negative two power, to simplify this, this would become one over three to the second power. And if we wanted to take it a step further, that is a good answer. To make it an even more simpler answer, three to the second power th means three times three, so that would become one ninth. And number three, y to the negative seventh power would simplify to one over y to the positive seven power. Number four, y to the negative twelfth power would simplify to one over w, excuse me, I said y earlier, to the twelfth power. Okay, now when we get to number five, you notice that we have three x, the entire expression is inside the parentheses, so that means the entire expression is to the negative first power, so that means when we simplify it, we are going to simplify the entire expression down on the numerator of our simplified expression. And we would, this negative one power would become a positive one power here. But once again, it's unnecessary to write a positive one power. So this would just simplify to one over three x. Okay, same idea with number six here, 5a. It, the entire expression is inside the parentheses. So when it gets simplified, the entire expression has to move to the denominator of my simplified version. Okay, the negative two power would become a positive two power. Okay, now number seven, there are no parentheses. So when you're working with this problem or any other problem where there's no parentheses, you have to ask yourself, that negative three power, is it for the C or is it for both the four and the C? Since there are no parentheses, that means that the negative three power is only for the C. So when we simplify it, we're going to have a fraction. The C is going to end up on the denominator with the negative three power becoming a positive three power. But the four is not going to move. It's going to stay where it is, which technically is on the numerator. So 4c to the negative 3 power simplifies to 4 over c to the third power. Same concept in number 8. The negative 5 power, since there are no parentheses, that means the negative 5 power is only associated with the r. So when we simplify this and we get our fraction, everything that is not associated with the negative 5 power, which would be the 2 and the p, they stay on the numerator and then we're going to move the r down to the denominator and then the five, negative 5 will become a positive 5 power. All right, number 9, same idea. The negative 6 will stay where it is, which is on the numerator. The q will get moved to simplify and the negative 2 power becomes a positive 2 power. The negative 2 or the positive 2 only being associated with the q. Okay, number 10, we have a negative three power, we have a positive two power for the a, and we have a coefficient of negative 18. When we simplify this, the only part that gets really moved to the denominator would be the b, because the b is the only part of the expression, it's the only variable in this case that's associated with the negative three power, so b to the positive three 
would be on the denominator and then the negative 18 and the a squared would stay where they're at. We don't have to move them to simplify. So negative 18 a squared over b to the third. All right, number 11, one over x to the negative two power to simplify this. We have to kind of think backwards and we're using the rule of when the negative exponent is on the denominator to simplify it, we move it up to the numerator. So we would get x to the second power to simplify. Okay, number 12, the five does not have a negative exponent. So when we simplify it, it's going to stay on the numerator. The z to the negative three is going to get moved up to the numerator. So it's going to be next to the five and then the negative three power, which is associated with the z becomes positive three. No need for parentheses in number 12 because the three exponent is only associated with the z. Okay, number 13, um, we have this negative sign right here. And the one thing that you want to think of is, is that whenever you have a negative sign in a fraction and the negative sign is right in the middle between the numerator and the denominator, you automatically should associate the negative sign with the numerator. Okay, that's just a good habit that you always want to get into. Now, to simplify it, the only thing we have to move is the part that has the negative exponent. So the negative 2x will not move at all. So we're going to keep the negative 2x on the numerator. The a to the negative 4 has to be moved up to the numerator. And then the negative 4 exponent will become a positive 4. So there's going to be nothing left on the denominator, so it's unnecessary for me to draw a fraction line. Now, the only change that you probably want to make in this problem is, is you want to rewrite this as negative 2 for the coefficient, and then you write the variables in alphabetical order. Okay, now if you leave your answer like that with the x first and then the a to the fourth coming next at last, that's okay, but this is typically how we write the answer. Okay, so at number 14, we have a negative one power. Now the negative one power is only associated with the C. So everything else that's not associated with the negative one power, I don't have to move to simplify. So the three and the B will stay on the numerator. The negative five will stay on the denominator. I need to move the C from the denominator up to the numerator to simplify it. And then the negative one power or exponent will become a positive one here, but I don't have to write positive one. Number 15, a to the negative one over b to the negative one. To simplify this, the a would have to be moved down to the denominator and the b to the negative one would have to be moved to the numerator. So really, that just becomes the reciprocal with an exponent of positive one, but I don't have to write positive one exponent. Number 16, once again here, I only am moving items or expressions or variables or coefficients, whatever they might be, that are associated with the negative powers. So the two is not associated with the negative two powers, so the two stays on the numerator. The three, which is not associated with that negative three power, will stay on the denominator. The n has to move down to the denominator and the negative two power becomes positive two, and the p has to move up to the numerator, and the negative three power becomes a positive three power for number 16. Number 17, once again, we have this negative exponent, or I'm sorry, negative symbol in between the fractions, so we automatically associate that negative symbol there and we just associate it with the numerator values. So you just want to get in the habit of rewriting the problem like this. It's probably a little bit easier than to uh, see how to simplify it. So now to simplify it, I'm only going to move um, variables that, have, that are associated with the negative powers. So the y is associated with the negative power. So I have to move the y from the numerator down to the denominator and the negative one power will become positive one. The negative x, I'm not gonna move. It's not associated with the negative one power. The nine, I'm not gonna move, so it's gonna stay on the denominator. The z, I have to move from the denominator up to the numerator. 
and then the negative 2 power will become positive 2. So it'll be negative xz to the second over 9y. Number 18, to simplify it, I'm keeping the 4 and the a where they are. I'm keeping the negative 3 where it is. The b to the negative second, I have to move to down to the denominator, and then we get a positive 2 power. The c to the negative second, I have to move up to the numerator to simplify, and then we get a positive 2 power for the c. Number 19. Um, now, in this one, because the a and the b are in parentheses, that means that entire expression is associated with the negative 1 power. So that means when I simplify it, I have to move the entire expression, a, b, to the denominator. The negative 1 power will become positive 1. I don't ever have to write a positive 1 power. Now, when I simplify the denominator part, this, the c is not associated with the negative 2 power. There's no parentheses. So the c stays where it's at. So I'm going to put a c here. But then the d, I have to move up to the numerator and the negative 2 power becomes positive 2. Okay, I'm just applying the rules of these exponents, uh, negative exponents that I have. Okay, number 20, when I work it out, the w will stay where it's at. The entire expression, x, y, I have to move down to the denominator. And then we're going to have a positive 2 power. The entire expression, 3tv, I have to move up to the numerator. And then we're going to have a positive 2 power there. So that's what number 20 would simplify to. Number 21, because the entire expression is associated with the negative 1 power, that means that in order to fix this or to simplify this, I have to change the entire expression. So the 4 moves from the numerator or denominator to the numerator. The 3 moves from the numerator to the denominator. When I do that, the negative 1 power becomes a positive 1 power, but you don't have to write that. Same concept in number 22. Um, because the entire fraction is inside the parentheses, that means that entire fraction is associated. So to simplify it, I reciprocate or I flip the fraction and then the exponent becomes a positive 2. Same with number 23. To simplify this, we just flip or reciprocate, do the reciprocal of the fraction, and then we change the negative exponent to a positive exponent. 24, same. 3yz, we put on the numerator. The 5x, we put on the denominator and then the negative 3 power will become a positive 3.